everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Laboratory, where we are here getting ready to embark on another journey with our beautiful pearl variety of meerkats. Last time, we actually had the beautiful pearl, the founder of the pearl meerkat line, join us, and she managed to have many beautiful kittens with a singing Balinese cat with his gorgeous cream coloring and his dark brown ears and tail, winning her heart over with his beautiful song along the seashore. And among all of the mer kittens that we ended up with was Jenny. She was actually the very last of the mer kittens born, and she did inherit her mother's beautiful mermaid tail. Yes! Yes! Look on, my friends! Here, like, Jenny, can you show your tail off a little bit? Because it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that! Jenny, your tail! We want to see your tail! Oh, it's so cute! Look at her! Does she not look like the most perfect companion for a mermaid? I absolutely love the way she looks. This is so cool. A beautiful mermaid tail. If you guys happen to know where it's from, do please let everybody know in the comments. I managed to have it fall into my hands when I was doing one of my late night custom content sprees on Tumblr. <laughs> and I can't remember exactly where I found it. But it is such an exciting addition to our feline genetics, just in time for the new Sims 4 Island Living Expansion Pack to arrive. And doesn't the beautiful glistening fur of Jenny's back, our meerkat's back, look like a perfect fish to go in the waters? Well, it's a fish that would eat fish, but it is kind of a fish-eat-fish -fish world. And I guess she's less of a- she's a mammal, not a fish. You guys know what I mean. She just looks really cool. So all right, we are back with Jannie today. And yes, yes, we are going to actually see more mer kittens. And I thought since Pearl fell in love with her Balinese singer, then we would go ahead and have Jannie, her daughter, carry on the feline family tree. And this time's going to be really exciting because I don't think Jannie would really want to settle down with one particular mate. She is pretty spoiled. She is easily scared off if a human managed to appear and scare her away. And she's also a little bit of a glutton. So she is actually lured by whatever cat happens to be next to the most delicious looking pile of fish. So I imagine Janny, as a grown murkat, has slipped into the waters and has swung, swum, swung, swum? There we go. Oh my gosh, that's hard to say. <laughs> and has swum amongst the sea. There we go with her mother and the other mer cats, of whom you're going to see soon. There's several varieties, one of which I'm really excited to show you guys pretty soon here. And they actually have taught her how to do a lot of the swimming through the corals, how to swim through the kelp and chase down the little fish and which fish to avoid. But you know, it's a lot of effort to swim around and catch fish. So whenever the fishermen pull in big hauls of fish and offer some to their cats, Jenny likes to slip up out of the water, wave her beautiful mermaid tail, flash her gorgeous purple eyes, and see if she can use her spoiled personality to convince that cat to go ahead and share with her gluttonous belly some of the fish they have. As a result, uh, she does end up meeting several handsome, several handsome male cats, and I think we're going to go ahead and see this time what kind of kittens we could have just with random cats. But if we see a kitten who we really suspect would be an amazingly cute one, then we can go ahead and have a sibling made for that kitten. So I think this is going to be really fun. So. As Jenny swims through the waters, she watches a fishing boat pull in with a large haul of fish and meets the mysterious father of whoever this cute little kitten's gonna be. <gasps> Look at those ears, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's adorable. That's gonna be her son, and I actually think that he needs a sibling for sure. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get him at least one sibling. All right, we need a sibling randomize a twin or a sister interesting how does that work so you push these and then it randomizes for you okay uh will it always look like Janny? actually that's a good question i think we might end up with all kittens who look like Janny. okay i'm gonna roll dice it says five i'm gonna randomize a twin one 
two, three. Well, I guess twins kind of look identical, don't they? Let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so we randomized a brother. I hope that worked the way I thought from the same father. So these two do share the same father, which is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and give them names and traits before we move on to the other kittens who will be amongst Jani's mini litters. Because just as she met with the father of these two kittens, the human showed up and she skittered away back into the waters. So, all right, come here, little guy. What would you be named if, well, I kind of want to name him like Tuna. We're gonna name him after fish because I think that's all that's on Jani's mind. So we'll name him Tuna and let's see what his personality will be. <gasps> he's fluffy and he's a glutton like his mother who's also playful. That's adorable. And then this is going to be, hmm, let's go with Skipper. I love his face. I think his face is gonna be awesome when he grows up. And his personality? He's spoiled. He's a spoiled glutton just like his mom and he's talkative like his grandfather. <gasps> Some of those beautiful special songs that Teppy, his grandfather, the beautiful Balinese cat, sung to the first pearly mer-cat who emerged from the waters might be being passed on amongst the mer-kittens. That would be adorable. I kind of want all of my mer-cats to like be singing cats like really talkative that just for some reason that just totally tickles me the idea of singing mer kittens lined up along the seashore but all right Jani grows hungry once again she slips out of the water and she meets ah i think they're all gonna look like Jani. <laughs> like is that how it's gonna be i think they're all gonna look like Jani. okay I think we're gonna have like a fleet of mer kittens. I really thought it would randomize her fur a little bit more, but if that's not the case, all right. So I think we're only gonna have a litter of one for little, hmm, for, let's see, little flounder. There we go. Little flounder who is skittish like his mother, talkative like his grandfather, and somewhat aloof. Hmm. All right, are we literally gonna just have kittens that look like Jenny the whole time? <gasps> I think we are. Is that broken? I kind of feel like that's a little broken, but we have our first little girl, you guys. Oh, she's beautiful. All right, I need to name her after Coral. There we go. We're gonna name her Coral and her personality. She's friendly and talkative, just like her grandfather, and a bit of a free spirit. So not as spoiled or aloof as her siblings and her mother. Uh, but I do think I'm a little worried now. Like, are we literally just gonna, like, is, what is this? I feel like this is somewhat broken. Let me try something. All right, randomize genes. Janian, unknown parent. Yeah, I guess this is the way it goes. This is a really cute little girl too. I honestly cannot resist that. We're just gonna have all blue kittens. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Uh, I'm gonna name her Sardine. Uh, or actually, let's name her Sandy after a sand dollar. Cause she's just so cute. She's just so cute. And she has such a cute personality. A free spirit who is playful and aloof. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm a little shocked though, because I really thought we'd end up with like a different variety of kittens just a wee bit but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm not trying to make her a sibling, even though I think she's really cute. Now I feel like I need to try it like with a different cat each time <laughs> to see like, are they all gonna just look like Jenny? I could have sworn at least one of them. Hello, Kipper. I could have sworn and oh, Kipper's fluffy and he's playful and affectionate. That like, I'm, I, I thought that you would end up with one that doesn't look like her. Is that even possible? I don't want to lose this daughter though. She's really pretty. Okay, you know what? We'll experiment after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this beautiful girl. Um, I almost said star for starfish. I need to know more damsel. Damsel? She looks a little sturdier than the damsel though. Um, let's see, reef? You know what? We'll name her reef because I think that seems to suit her quite well. <gasps> she's mischievous and spoiled and aloof. Oh, she needs a different name for that. If she's gonna be all of those things, then I think we're gonna go ahead and name her, um, not golden for goldfish. 
Neon Tetra. Tetra. We're gonna name her Tetra because she just seems like she is ridiculously over the top spoiled. But all right, this did not turn out how I thought it was going to. I thought we were gonna get like a whole school of really cute kittens that looked nothing alike from one another, but instead we ended up with Janny just like totally defeating me. And instead we have a whole school of little tiny blue kittens. And I'm not complaining too much because I mean, they, most of them have different fathers. So I imagine they're gonna look really different from one another. But this isn't what I intended, uh, just for the record. However, we shall carry on because sometimes these experiments go in places you didn't expect. And now I have learned my lesson. If I want to see some variety in the coat colors, then I really do need to be wary of like having the actual mate around, I think. But let's go ahead and see if Tuna is going to turn out to be anything like his mother. He's actually kind of cute. Oh, but his tail didn't work. And unfortunately, he did not inherit his mother's tail. So welcome to Little Tuna. You shall be a land cat. You did not inherit your mother's ears nor her tail, but you did inherit her appetite. So fret not. And he's so cute. Look at his big old floppy face, gigantic ears and tiny little like or gigantic eyes and tiny little flop ears. Oh, he's cute. All right, Skipper. Are you ready for this? Let me roll the dice and then I'll look down after we grow you up. <gasps> he does look like his brother. Oh, that makes me so happy. He's got this big, gigantic, cute nose. He did not inherit the ears, but he did inherit the tail. Skipper is a swimming cat. Look at him. This is so cute and I love how he's talkative and a glutton. So he's probably going to be hitting up all of the, the little fish marts just like his mother when he grows up. And little Flounder, who I think is the last boy. No, Kipper's the last boy. Okay, so Flounder is next to last boy. He's going to, let me roll the dice, grow him up, glance down. And Flounder, so he's the first one from a different parent. He kind of looks the same. Man, I really need to remember this. Uh, he did actually inherit his mother's ears. He did not inherit her tail though. And he got a dud tail, so unfortunately he has no tail. Fooey! Well, what do you guys think about Flounder? What will he spend his time doing? He is a land cat now. I can't believe we have a, literally a school of blue kittens. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> All right, Coral, let me roll the dice and then grow you up and glance down. She had a Sphinx for her bear, her father. What? She had a Sphinx father. And actually Coral did not inherit her mother's ears, but she did inherit her mother's tail. So she's a swimming cat. Coral is a swimming Sphinx. I did not see that coming. This is very exciting. I'm just curious if they will always take after like their parents' pattern if you make them that way. And Sandy, Sandy, she's so cute. I can't wait to see what she grows up into. Roll the dice. I won't look down until. Oh, she's so cute, you guys. And she has no tail. Like she literally has no tail and she rolled not to inherit her mother's tail. So Sandy too is not a swimming kitten. It seems like it's quite difficult to actually keep swimming cats in the family tree. But I really, I love her dainty, elegant little appearance. She's very cute and I love how it looks like she has little blue scales down her body. Then we've got Kipper, the last boy. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. And then I'll glance down after. <gasps> okay, this is so cool. I love the variety in their sizes. I just really wish that they had a little more variety in their colors too. But welcome to Kipper, who is actually uh, not a swimming cat. He did not inherit either of his mother's, his mother's tail. Oh, it's hard to grab the no tail. Let's see, well, actually, no, you have no tail because you had a dud tail. So he did not inherit her ears or her tail. So Kipper too is a land cat. And finally, the most spoiled one of them all, Tetra. Let's go ahead and see what she is going to look like as an adult. Wow. Not terribly different from her mom in some regards. But you can definitely see there's some huge changes coming. Again, and with the cats, it's harder to tell these things. No, you know, actually, and she inherited the mermaid tail. 
no puns intended, but she is very lovely. I love her eyes. Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and save. And my wonderful lab assistants, we are going to look at all these blue cats. What the heck? We're going to see if my hunch is correct. And we're going to really quickly, don't worry, Tetra, you're saved. So you're not going anywhere. We're going to really quickly try something. So Jenny, would you always just have blue kittens? Like it would never be anything other than blue kittens. So this experiment would never work. Aw, man. Okay, so the experiment would never work. They would always end up inheriting the mother's line if you bred them like that. I had no idea. Okay, now I know. It definitely was a bit of a floppy experiment, but we have data and we can change things for the future. So in the future, if we do have our cats meeting with mysterious mates, we will definitely go ahead and create the mate by like making a mixed breed cat rather than doing it like this, because otherwise we will just end up with mostly the traits of the mother. In fact, like even the, the eyes and everything, Jenny, you are not going to let that, that skelly line go, were you? But all right, guys, so this was an interesting kind of sideways experiment, but one that I will take to heart. And I do look forward to introducing you guys to some of the mer cats and maybe even mer dogs. I can't remember if I have mer dogs or not of the future. So if you guys could do please leave a like to toss a fish to our school of blue cats who did end up looking quite different, but because they all have the same coat, it's kind of hard. Well, it's a little hard to tell until you line them up. Uh, but yes, do please leave a like to toss a fish to our wonderful school of blue mer cats. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.